These are not just random accessories, they were banned. And what Wang Shen Chao wore for a few minutes literally resulted in a ban from playing sports. In 2018, Wang and China were facing Myanmar in a friendly match, and well, Wang was simply relaxing on the bench until his number was called in the 61st minute. The coach wanted to see what our guy could do. After a few minutes, he pulled something mysterious out of his sock, and with cameras pointed at him from every direction, there was no way he could get away with it. That's when he pulled out his most precious possession, a diamond necklace, and he wore it for the rest of the match. But I hope that 20 minutes of wearing a chain for no reason was worth it, because right after the match, the Chinese Football Federation fined him an amount higher than the value of the necklace itself and banned him from playing football for a whole year. But at least it was only him who suffered here. In 2014, Sony almost went bankrupt. In 2014, what other players wore cost the company billions. You see, football was entering the most watched event of the year, the World Cup. And at that time, Sony wanted to go viral after launching their new headphones. And what better way to become the best sellers than to have the world's most famous athletes wear them? Sony had just signed a $280 million deal with FIFA, making it against the rules for players to wear any other brand. So they weren't just asking football stars to wear their headphones, they were forcing them. And to ensure that players followed the rules, Sony gave free headphones to every team. When football players started arriving at the stadiums and going through their usual pregame routines, they realized these headphones were terrible. But listen, this isn't even the craziest part. Rumors started spreading about how terrible these headphones really were, and the players knew they had to defend what they believed in. So a few days before the World Cup, a man took a risk. Look at Neymar, so inspiring, and more than 34 million views later, Neymar put Beats by Dre on top of the world. And because of that, Sony lost $1.7 billion. But despite all of this, FIFA didn't ban Beats by Dre from football. Here, players nearly brought down a tech giant, but because of Adidas, a top player almost ended his career. Adidas Shoes Absurd, but $3,000 for a player like Rafinha is nothing because what he was caught wearing has cost him a million dollars. We need to go back to 2013 when the controversy began. At that time, Rafinha was a dominant winger for Barcelona, and therefore all the brands wanted a piece of him. Ironically, as soon as he laced up his Adidas, Rafinha became a champion, an Olympic gold medalist, and a teammate of Lionel Messi. So I mean, what could go wrong? Unfortunately, while wearing those shoes, he began to suffer devastating cruciate ligament injuries that forced him to stay out for months. And since he couldn't be on the field representing Adidas, the brand refused to support him. As July 2018 approached, the contract with Adidas was supposed to end. So the revival of his career began as he played for Barcelona. Barcelona with some completely black Mizuno shoes, finally representing a company he could trust. But what Rafinha didn't know was that Adidas had inserted a hidden clause in his contract, and they had extended the agreement for another five years. So technically, Rafinha was bound by the contract to wear only their products. And in December 2018, they filed a lawsuit against him, costing him $10,000 for every day he hadn't promoted their brand. In the end, Rafinha had to pay over a million dollars. But I'll be honest, he should have seen it coming. Alan Sane, on the other hand, knowingly wears something that costs him a fine every single day. Gucci headband. It all started in 2018 when Allen was playing for Nice, and even though he was at the beginning of his career, Allen wasn't trying to be a marginal, irrelevant role forever. He was trying to go viral. And so, coming into a match against Bordeaux, he could have played it normal and tried to have his best game. But instead, he decided to become famous for breaking the rules. A few months earlier, Allen had signed an exclusive deal with Puma. And if he was caught wearing another brand, he would have to pay the price. But you see, Allen had said that the deal was trying to become a global phenomenon. So, 
he came out with a Gucci headband. And Allen became so viral for this that what he had on his head made him more famous than his plays on the field. And if you don't believe me, look at his Instagram. It seems like he never stopped wearing headbands since becoming a trending topic. And you know what's even crazier than all this? Allen's teammates admitted that because he wears them during training and it goes against his agreement with Puma, they fine him 100 euros every single day. But at least Allen, by wearing those headbands, made millions for Gucci. While what David Beckham wore became so controversial that not only did FIFA ban it, but he also risked six months in prison. And look at that, Adidas still has something to do with it. Adidas with kangaroo leather. In 2002, Beckham was dominating football and had led England to the World Cup. But we all know Beckham. He likes the spotlight, so he had tried to be a trendsetter. And at the World Cup, he stepped onto the field in matches against Denmark and Brazil, debuting with something that no other athlete had ever done before, and probably because it was illegal. But nevertheless, he appeared wearing custom Adidas Predator football shoes. And they don't look like something that could land you in jail. But the truth is that Beckham's fans were angry because his shoes weren't made only of something you could find in a sports shoe store. His shoes were made of kangaroo leather. And it turned out that hunting animals or products made from them was illegal in California. Right after signing a deal to join the Los Angeles Galaxy, Beckham discovered this law. So he found himself in a tricky situation. Not only were his shoes controversial, but they could also make him pay a $5,000 fine from the California government or face six months in jail every time he wore these shoes. And of course, our guy Beckham is clever. I mean, he has football to play. He doesn't have time for all this stuff. So he called his friends at Adidas and had the shoes redesigned with a new synthetic material. So he kept his feet intact, made fans happy, and at least what he was wearing wasn't banned by an entire country as happened in Brazil. Brazil National Colors when the 2014 World Cup arrived, Nike partnered with the team to design new kits. But there was a big problem. From Pele to Neymar and everyone in between, the teams always wore the historic yellow, green, and blue to match the country's flag. And these colors had become so significant for the team that it became an ancient rule never to change them. But apparently, Nike didn't get the memo. Because as the new year came in, they tried to shake things up and introduce something completely different. Neymar became the face of Nike's new campaign, showcasing an all-black masterpiece with the word Brazil and five stars representing the country's World Cup titles. And at first, players liked this new look, so the black kit was approved. But it didn't take long before people started criticizing the jerseys. Throughout the country's existence, it was tradition to wear yellow in home games and blue in away games. So many Brazilians felt that completely changing the kits was a sign of disrespect, and they literally convinced the Brazilian Football Federation to ban the jerseys. Yes, I know some people go way too far, but what about a bear celebrating a victory with a Russian team, a secret two-point line, and hidden agreements among the most important clubs? These are 10 things you didn't know about football. So what are you waiting for? The video's over, bro. You have to click here if you want to know more. Come on, click, click here.